Welcome back to Freya Phoenix Tarot, the Phoenix Tarot Tribe. If this is your first time, welcome. If you're back for another video, we appreciate you guys coming back. I missed you guys. So the song that I channel for us is Get Lucky by Pharrell. It's a very fun, catchy song. Not sure if you guys have heard it. Definitely, if you get the chance, go ahead and look it up. There may be something in the lyrics for you. Um, there's a part of the song like, what does it say? I wrote it on the back of here. It says, we've come too far to give up who we are. So let's raise the bar in our cups to the stars. Somebody does not feel like giving up. You guys are in your winning season, and I love that. You are you are absolutely lucky, and everything should be falling up roses. As we jump into the energy, I'd like to thank you guys for clicking on the video. Um, we are still a very new channel, so please like, share, subscribe. If you know somebody that um, is into tarot, or even someone that uh, may need an uplifting video, feel free to share it. Sharing is caring. So we're gonna jump into the energies with the yin, yang, the yin Yang Oracle. I was led to use this uh, first to see what the energy is feeling like, and we'll see. I just shuffled that one right back into the deck. Okay, okay, well. We have fulfillment and wish coming out in reverse. Someone is feeling unfulfilled. Their wishes are not being granted. They feel like their wishes are not being granted. And I'm sure that probably makes someone feel very, that's too many. <laughs> that is three. Well, let's see what they are. Maybe we have to. We have mercury, communication, and travel coming in. We have masculine. This is for me. This is the divine masculine. Not feeling fulfilled wherever he is. And we have Venus. Love offer. This masculine is thinking about bringing another love offer. On the bottom of the deck we have inner child healing. Okay. So... Your masculine energy is out here heavy, whether it's you, whether it's another person. Um, you know, there is no gender in tarot. You know, masculine energy is just, you could be a feminine and masculine energy, vice versa. But whoever it is, is unfulfilled in their current situation. And they're doing inner child healing, which is making them want to communicate and travel away from whatever their current situation is to offer someone this love offer. Spirit, can we get some tarot on fulfill, unfulfillment? Because in reverse, fulfillment is not it. Someone's wish is not coming true. Spirit, please give us the clarity on the situation. Okay, that was a lot of clarity. <laughs> Let's see, we have the Seven of Pentacles. Someone is looking at their investments, but it came in in reverse. We have the Three of Wands. Someone's waiting on something. They're not waiting anymore. We have the Two of Pentacles in reverse. Someone was juggling. They don't want to juggle anymore. Who was it? This Knight of Wands. This passionate lover that wants to come in and talk to you with all that charisma and you know we know what the wands stand for somebody that is pretty much not stable we have ace of swords talk about it that's truth truth and clarity this person was not stable they might, may not have been emotionally stable. They may have not been financially stable. I don't know what the situation was. We have the emperor in reverse.
Maybe this masculine was an emperor in reverse, being manipulative, not taking care of their children, you know, just not making wise decisions in the past. But maybe they're, during this child healing, are realizing some things about themselves and they want to offer love somewhere else because maybe they made a decision on their wish fulfillment, which landed them in this unfulfilled state. And now they're rethinking the whole situation they want to bring this offer this two of cups after doing these manipulative things and being in this energy of knight of wands in and out you know just all about self-fulfillment and uh passion you guys were not seeing eye to eye with the two of swords coming out over communication. Maybe there was problems communicating. Maybe you communicated what you wanted and this person agreed, but they really were being childish. They are in a childish energy. Pages for me or kids or teenagers. They're childish. They want what they want, which is very selfish, which led y'all to the three of swords. There was some kind of heartbreaks, heartache, upset, disappointment that happened because of this. And communication may have been what could have put it on track or even got it off track. We have temperance in reverse. The situation took time and someone rushed in and now they're unfulfilled. Whatever they rushed to in that Knight of Wands energy... They are so unfulfilled over there. They are actually either being left out in the cold by the energy they ran to, or they left you out in the cold for this other energy. And now they are in so much regret. They want to send messages. This person, this is a message in a bottle. This is somebody that has something to say, and they want to get it to you by any way necessary, but... The Eight of Wands, they can't get it there quick enough to help you understand what they now think. It's this masculine, this person in divine masculine energy. But before, they were not in their divine energy, which they may have been in their soft note. So, yeah, they were making horrible decisions. And now they're seeing the error of those ways because they have to sit with it. Maybe you walked away, maybe they walked away. Something happened. And now they want this brand new beginning. This brand new passionate beginning with the Ace of Wands falling under love offer. Spirit, yeah, okay, that's what I wanted to know. Spirit, talk to me. These cards want to talk. This is the King of Cups. It's this King of Cups. Someone that has a lot of love for you. Maybe you didn't know that this person loved you like that. Maybe they hid that from you because they were in this King of Wands energy. But with the King of Pentacles coming in, maybe they were really working on their stability as well. But, you know, they made time to make time for the things they wanted to. They made time for this person that is in Nine of Pentacles energy in the reverse. Somebody got tricked and... The Nine of Pentacles in reverse is someone that is not standing on their own two feet. This is a person either from your past or from their past with the Six of Cups coming in. So somebody may have gone back to an energy expecting that it will be wish fulfillment, but it was not. And now this person is in the Four of Swords. They're healing. They're, they're healing their inner child. They're healing from the situation. And um, there was a point where Seven of Cups at the bottom of the deck. They were confused. There was illusions. There was, there was something that was not seen clearly for them to make this deci decision. Either they were just in this irrational emperor energy where they wanted to control everything and everybody. Or... You know what? Let's get some romance angels. Or they were manipulated by this other energy. But 
either way, they now want to offer you this love offer. They want to send you messages and let you know exactly how they feel. All right. We have, let's see what the universe has for us with these romance angels. Spirit, give us clarity on the situation so we can make decisions for our highest good. If this is someone from your past, maybe you guys have known each other for a long time, or maybe they went back to a person from their past that they knew for a long time. I see these two children playing by this water fountain, and I'm feeling like this may have been a older relationship, or even if maybe it was a friendship that blossomed into a relationship. We have flirted. Extend your light-hearted energy to others. Get out here and flirt around. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Somebody going to see you. Somebody going to catch your vibe. Somebody going to love it. Just know that. Don't ever think that you're committed to waiting on someone that does not have their self together. Because clearly, this person did not wait on you. They, they went toward their wish fulfillment. We have, I don't read these in reverse. We have free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. Falling over these messages and this heartbreak. You need to get out and flirt. Meet some people. We're in this life to live it. Not to be sad and worried about what someone did to us. And oh my gosh, why did they do that to me? I was always there for them. You probably were. That's, that's probably the main reason why they felt like everybody would be like you. But now they're realizing that everybody is not you, baby. Everybody's not you. Children. Your love life is being affected by children. Maybe this person went back to somebody they had children with, or as I stated before, they knew from their childhood. Somebody they were comfortable with. Someone they felt like they could have it all with. But once they got over there, they realized how big a mistake it was. We have keep an open mind. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Okay. In saying that, maybe this, this Six of Cups energy... This emperor one was in the Six of Cups energy because the person they dated previously or even had children with was their what they thought to be their type. Maybe you were not the typical norm that they date. Maybe you're quiet. They're used to loud mouths, um, people that are outgoing, extroverts. Maybe you're introverted. Maybe that wasn't what they were. They thought they were looking for, but you may be this person's soulmate. And the same thing for you. Maybe this person is not what you typically date. Maybe they're short. Maybe they're skinny. Maybe you date tall and, and more muscular builds. Women, you know, maybe you date a thicker, voluptuous woman. And maybe this lady was skinny. Maybe she wasn't as thick as some of the people that you've dated. But the universe is saying, keep your mind open. Be open to receive and you'll get whatever you need. At the bottom of the deck, we have separation. Yeah, I kind of felt you guys were in separation with all this masculine energy coming out first. Um, it says time apart from your party, from your partner is on the horizon. Maybe with me saying party, maybe this person likes to party and you do not party often. Maybe you guys go out every now and again. And this person was... Um, an extrovert and they like to party they like to be the center of attention a lot of people these days feel like they need that attention because of 
their inner child. Like the inner child is not healed. So here they are looking for attention and validation in others instead of finding the time to heal and not needing that kind of validation. So this person is coming to a realization that they want to offer you this love offer, but they are actually working on themselves as well right now. They may communicate with you or maybe they just will continue to communicate maybe energetically. Maybe that's what's best for now until they can get you know some things under control because there's there's a few things in reverse in, in this person's life. They may need space, they may need time, but just keep your mind open and be clear with the universe about what you would like. Because once you're clear, it's gonna come to you. All right, I would like to thank you guys for making it through another video or through a video. I would love to see you guys back again. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. We would love for you to be a part of our soul tribe. Have a good day.